Well, he's led the White Sox not once, but twice. And tonight, Tony La Russa has stepped down. Yeah, fans have been talking today with WGN's Brona Tumulty regarding his retirement. She joins us live from outside Guaranteed Rate Field tonight. Hi, Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, the game is still going on behind me against the Twins. I believe the White Sox just took the lead, which is great. But they're winning without La Russa at the helm, and team supporters had plenty to say today about that. As the sun set over guaranteed Reid Field, an era came to an end. I am sincerely dis disappointed that I'm leaving without the opportunity to finish what I was brought in to do. And some of the Sox's biggest fans... Oh, huge, yeah, absolutely. ...were ready to weigh in. He's a legend in the game, uh, but... Oh! Right now, he's not the right manager at the right time. Um, you know, hopefully they'll they'll get somebody out here who uh, is more in tune with the game, the modern game, uh, in order to light a spark under these players, you know, and make them reach their full potential. Leo Schmidt has been watching his team since he was a kid, just as Joel Sherman did all the way out in Oregon. I grew up watching the games on WGN, Hawk Harrelson. There's no Sox fans in Oregon, so Hawk Harrelson was my best friend, Sox fan, and uh, just spent all my childhood watching him, and uh, I've only been out here a few times, so it's a magical place to me. He now lives in Houston and flew in to catch tonight's game, telling us it was time for Tony to go. I think most people are pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy about it. I think his involvement with the team was a disaster and really put us off course. Others, like season ticket holder Steve Huerman, telling us the fan reaction to La Russa at times wasn't entirely fair. I felt bad that the fans booed him um, at different times towards the end. It's not all his fault, uh, but he is the person that holds the team accountable for their actions, and their actions were not very good this year. Joe Fergoli, another lifelong fan. My whole life. Echoing those sentiments. I always did. He did a great job. I, you know, he's a baseball guy. He knows baseball. I don't know why people didn't like him. I, the guy's a Hall of Fame uh, manager, so give him the respect he deserves. And while this day obviously came earlier than expected... All of us have to retire sometime. Some fans are now wondering who lead the Southsiders going forward. I'm looking forward to who they name to replace them. And it'll be interesting, you know, to change, something to pay attention to. And Larusa, of course, stepping down on the advice of his doctors due to some heart problems. And if, like the fans there, you're wondering who will be his replacement, well, there's more on that ahead in sports. Live on the South Side, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.